Hi everyone, it's Bridget. Welcome back. I want to make a amulet, a little pocket purse, a mini pocket purse. And I am going to make it four by four because I want to be able to put my credit card and my ID in there and maybe a couple dollars. And you know, if I'm going out, I can use it as a little statement necklace and just have, you know, my lipstick as well, maybe. Um, so I decided on four by four for the size. And I am absolutely in love with how this raw silk turned out. It's just has a lot of texture, just really jewel tones, really pretty. So I am going to take my template. I'm just going to Put it right over here. And this raw edge is going to be covered because I'm going to do a lining. So I am going to get that piece cut and put this to the side. And then for the back, I'm going to tidy this up just a hair. And then for the back, I wanted to have some substance. Um, so I am go. I wanted to have some substance. So I'm going to take this piece of jean denim. It's brown. These were a lovely pair of pants at one time, but they have seen better days. So I am recycling them. So this is the pant leg. I just cut up the side seam of the bottom on each side. So that is going to be my back. And then I'm also going to cut a lining. I have this brown quilting cotton, which will do just fine. I'm going to just cut you know what? I am just going to double it over as I do it because I can do that. Some washers. I just use these washers from the hardware store. It's a great idea just to hold things down. I have a, quite a few of them and they're handy from when you're cutting pattern pieces. Okay, so this is gonna be my lining. Set that aside. Now to do a little embellishing, in the past I have done some cute little tassels. I'll probably do a little video on this in the future. They're just so fun and simple for scrap leather. And this one is about three and a half inches, I believe, from top to bottom, and it is. So I am going to go ahead and cut that three and a half inches long. So I'm basically looking to create a fringe at the bottom of my amulet. So I have this pretty scrap color of leather. So I am going to this is, I'm going to do a three and a half by three and a half piece. Because that will come into the seam allowance and it won't hinder when I'm sewing. So I'm going to cut a three and a half. So I'm going to just shore it up over here and create myself a straight edge. I'm going to go up to three and a half on my ruler, which is that mark right there. I'm just going to come to the three and a half inch point. And I'm a righty, so I'm going to come over this way. Create a three and a half. 
I don't want to cut too much. I want to be able to use this for other pieces. So here we have that. And now I am simply, that is going to go be tucked in here. Okay. So I can make a little mark if I would like with my chalk. I'm going to actually make it a half inch down. I think I'm just going to go for three eighths. So I'm making, just making a line. That's not showing up very well there. So I'll flip it over. And I'm going to cut, go to the three eighths again. And there we are. Just using some chalk to just create a little line. And now all I'm going to do, I'm just going to go about an eighth of an inch below there for cutting. So I am just going to try to do as small as little strips as I can, because I really want them to be tiny. And I'm coming up shy of that mark because that will give me some margin for error. And now I'm actually going to just eyeball it. Ooh. Okay, a little squirrely. I'm just gonna use this to brace it. And I can trim this up. And you can see this is not absolutely perfect, but that is okay. Because it is just going to be swaying around. I'm getting off at an angle there. I'm going to try to get back the other way. Leather's a little harder to cut with the rotary. Okay. Oh, that's cute. That's cute. And then I'm just going to tuck that in when I sew it. And it's just going to do a little sway. I could give it a little trim later if I want, but right now I think I just like it straight. So I have all that done. I'm going to take a couple pieces of this. It is some suede. It's three millimeters. I'm just going to take, I don't know, let's see. Yeah, I think I'll do two inches. So some small, just a couple pieces of two inch. Okay, and these I'm going to tuck in when I sew and they are going to be my little straps. I'm not sure if I'm gonna to continue to use this as a strap, I may, but I also have this, which I love. This is a braided suede and I did that myself, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna like the, we'll, we'll decide after whether when I uh, string the strap through, whether we like the extra fringe or not. I might just like the simplicity of not having it. So I'm gonna take this all to my sewing machine, the fringe, the front, the back of the project, and the lining. And this will be a nice little sew, a nice easy project. I'm going to show you how I'm going to clip this together so when I get to my sewing machine, I can just start sewing. So what I'm gonna do, this is, this is the side I want facing out when the amulet is done. So I'm just flipping that up. And I'm gonna to have to make sure that those are tucked in when I'm sewing, I will stick my hand in. And then this is right here. So I am just gonna take my wonder clips, 
which are so handy. And I'm just going to give it a little clip. And then my little strap holders are going to be in here. So it's about a half an inch down, just eyeballing that. I want them near the top. And then again, just putting the clip in. So these, these are going to be in the inside. So when I turn the, the little project around, and then I'm just going to give that a clip too. There we go. So that's all tucked in there. As, as I'm sewing, I'm going to use a quarter inch seam allowance, but as I'm sewing, I'm going to take my fingers and make sure everything is tucked in there nicely. And I can tell I've made a lot of bags in my day, so I can tell um, that those are both about the same level there. And then here we go. So yeah, I can feel that's all tucked in. And I am going to just do a quarter inch all the way around. And then I will be turning it. And I will be doing the same here, but just down each side. Because then I'm going to slip this over. I will show you. So I'll meet you at the sewing machine. So it's a cute little bag with the fringe. So that's my lining. And then I'm just trimming up some little loose threads. And then I'm just gonna tuck this lining in. And about a, I think it's about a half an inch so as I said, I like the linings to, to be a little smaller in bags because therefore, therefore there's no sagging lining. And I'm using the same thread. I mean, you're not going to be in there looking at that. So I'm back stitching. I could do a matching thread. I'm not going to bother. And then I'm just gonna tuck the lining in on itself into the bag. Oh, so cute. And this is what it looks like. I'm not going to bother top stitching this. If I wanted to top stitch it, I should have put these strap holders a little further down but I'm going to pass on the top stitching. It's such a small 
little item. I don't think it needs it. I have my finished project. I love it. It's adorable. And I am just going to, I think this is too much. That's a possibility. But I had this little ribbon in my stash, this little crinkle ribbon, and it seems to bring out the color of this textile so nicely. I think I'm just going to use this. And I'm just going to string it through. And this piece is a yard, so it'll be plenty long enough if I want to. I can make it shorter by putting a knot in the back of up here on my neck. So left over right and under. Right over left. Little square knot. Little crinkle ribbon. Oh, so cute. And I'm just going to come over here and do the same. Left over right and under. Right over left. Square knots are great because they're very easy to get out. Oh, so cute. It's adorable. All right, so we have that. And then <laughs> I'm just going to add one of my pins because I can. And I love it. And it goes perfectly. And I'm just going to pin that right to the top there. So sweet. I cut two little pieces of two inch for my little loops from this scrap piece of suede here. And I'm going to clip everything together like I did before. And this is how this one turned out. I did do the top stitching around the top, but honestly, I don't know if it's necessary. So, but this is, this came out really cute with the fringe. You could trim the fringe if you want. I'm gonna leave it be. And I'm going to just take another one of my little ribbons that I out of my stash, these little crinkle ribbons, which are really cute. And I'm just gonna, again, do the left over right and under, little square knot, right over left. And through here. So if you do want to do them so that you can top stitch, I would place them, the side straps, the loops about an inch down on the start of the project so that when you flip it over, it's fine. Oh, so cute. And then I'm gonna add a little another pin to this one because just love how everything's coming together. I just think it's really sweet to just add the pen. You can add it above, you can add it down, any way you like. Thank you for joining me as I made these sweet little amulet bags, little pocket bags, and you can put your ID in there, your essentials, you can put a little message in there and they'd be a beautiful gift for someone, a nice keepsake. I used my fabrics, some of them that we made, 
and embellished. And you can see this is another project that you can use for these fabrics. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And I would love it if you would subscribe. I'm really enjoying making these videos for you all. And thank you for all who have subscribed. And until next time, keep creating.